Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 21, and this is war number 10. And we just have two wars left in the season, and then we can take a break. Uh, we're going up against an alliance called League of Extraordinary Summoners. Now, I remember that name, and so I know we faced them before in war, but I don't remember how those wars turned out. In any case, uh, I've already scouted out my paths, and my standard team looks like it's going to be sufficient. Uh, you notice that they did not place a defender on that first node. That's not uncommon. Uh, paths one through three are easier than the other paths. So a lot of times an alliance will save their really strong defenders for those other paths. Uh, and they will, if they have to, skimp on that node uh, or any of the uh, um, nodes for one through three. Uh, they still want to try to uh, put, a, uh, put a defender on the minis, at least. All right, so I come in here with uh, Nick Fury. Uh, if you saw the global, it's your standard stubborn. Uh, we did face someone that had a different uh, global uh, in the upper tiers, but we've been on a losing streak, so we're trying to uh, get ourselves a win uh, before the season is over. We started out strong the first six uh, wars were wins, I believe. Uh, and then we started losing a little bit. All right. Um, but in any case, I was able to get Quake down uh, without too much difficulty at all. Nick Fury is just a beast. And especially with the global uh, stubborn and the um, attacker tactics for stubborn uh, champions. Oh my goodness. He's, he's great. All right. I want to use him all the time, but I know I can't. Uh, now, this mojo, he uh, was not cleared, and when I came back again, uh, he was still up, and they were asking me, can you, you know, finish him off? I'm like, oh boy, I do not like fighting mojo. Hate him. But, let's go ahead and uh, boost up a little bit. Uh, there's no reason not to boost, at least with the 15% boost. No reason. Okay, so... Uh, the thing about Mojo, you don't want to bring a champion that relies on a lot of buffs. Nick Fury doesn't. You also don't want to dash back and trigger Dexterity because that will trigger a buff if you have that mastery. So you'll notice that I take a lot more blocked hits uh, against Mojo and I try to evade early so that I don't trigger Dexterity, you know, um, but can't help it, can't help it. Uh, some people, when they fight Mojo, they will actually turn off their uh, Dexterity Mastery. Okay, and you see here, the real Nick Fury is up, and I just went for broke. Because what I wanted to do, while the Life Model Decoy was up, push him to a Special 3, I can tank a Special 3. But you'll notice that he didn't fire that Special 3 off. And then the real Nick Fury came out, and I didn't want him to fire it off then, and I was just uh, praying. And we got lucky he never fired off his special three. Uh, so Mojo's down. On to the next fight. Now, these guys did not care about uh, diversity, all right? And you'll see what I mean. So I stopped there to let someone else uh, take that Nick Fury. Why? Well, you're about to see here in a minute. Look at this, another Nick Fury. And you'll notice that my uh, two Alliance mates were there. Now, because I did not fight uh, that first node and I have a decent counter for this Nick Fury, uh, I was pretty sure they were waiting for me to clear that Nick Fury. All right, so I looked over it and I'm like, all right, all right. Um, even though the real Nick Fury is out right now, so I don't have that buffer like I did earlier, should be able to take this guy out without too much difficulty. All right. Um, the thing about Nick Fury, though, you've really got to kill him twice. And uh, that's why a lot of people just don't don't like fighting him. Even if the node is not that difficult, the longer a fight goes on, the more opportunities exist for you to make a mistake, slip up, something. All right, so you'll notice that I popped an invulnerability boost, just in case. Um, right now, the invulnerability boost is in the store. So I was gonna be able to get that right back, okay? 
No problem. All right, so here we go. We're just just pounding on him. Just look at the damage. He, he's not even at a special two. Now I hit into his block to push him to a special two because I don't want to deal with a special one. Okay, and there we go. Now I could just wait and let, you know, his um, D-Gen take him to 30. Uh, but I was a little impatient and boom, boom, and he's down. All right, um, I played that a little bit more aggressively than, uh, you know, I probably should have when the real Nick Fury was out, but we got it done. All right, now here, that invulnerability boost is still on. Now, look at this, no defender, but the next one is Nick Fury again. This is why I said they did not care about diversity. And this is why I'm like, no, I'm not going to be fighting three Nick Furies in a row, you know? And so I waited on that first one, but then I took the next one and then I knew I had this one on my path as well. All right. And you'll notice Nick Fury is the real Nick Fury out. I have the invulnerability uh, up. However, I wanted to give myself just a little bit. There's no point in healing him up a lot when the real Nick Fury is out, but to get him just above that 30% is good. All right, so that's what we did. And then here we go again, just pounding on him. Now I have deep wounds maxed out. All right, so I do crazy amounts of damage with Nick Fury and those bleeds. Just look at this, man. And boom, the real Nick Fury is already out and he's at a special two. So now, because I don't have as much health to play with, you know, I'm just playing it slow. You know, baited that out. And you'll notice here, I'm not going crazy and aggressively attacking him like I did the last time. Okay. And then I baited out that heavy. Now I'm going in. Boom. All right. And now I'm just letting that bleed do his work. And down goes Nick Fury. So that fight went according to plan. So this next mini here, I didn't touch. Um, I think I didn't. Did I touch this one? No, no, no. Yes, I did. I did. Um, he wasn't clear uh, the first time I went through. Um, but let me see. I believe I did fight him. Yeah. Um, I finished him off. Uh, uh, someone went in there and Warlock is, is annoying. I think I said Nick Fury. Uh, Warlock is a really annoying uh, defender. And one person that's good for Warlock is actually Warlock. Uh, this node, you see what we have to deal with there. And uh, so I brought in my Warlock, for sure. You know, there's no way I was going to fight him with anyone else. Um, my Omega Red wouldn't do the best against him. He's a robot. Uh, Nick Fury, he's already, you know, low in health. And Warlock is bleed immune. So really... The only one that I have to deal with this guy is my own Warlock. So I went in and uh, you'll see how this goes. Uh, I love Warlock. He is probably my second favorite tech. The first is Ghost, but he is definitely my uh, second currently. I mean, he is just awesome, all right? And you see, I just block those, not trying to evade it. I still don't know how to evade his special one uh, completely. Okay, and you see he got that uh, regen because he's not infected yet. What I should have been doing, uh, I should have been working on getting the infection on him first before doing anything else. Uh, and you can get the infection on them a little bit faster when you parry them. So what I should have done is uh, fight with a parry, parry, parry right off in the beginning, get the infection up, then I don't have to worry about that regen. And you saw right there, um, I got hit by his heavy. I was just a little bit too slow. Um, but uh, once that infection was up, you'll notice that the regen that's hitting, I don't have to worry about it. Uh, that's why I hit into his block because any contact made gets those uh, virus spores or whatever they are uh, on them. So you want to keep on uh, making contact, whether it's into their block, whether it's a parry. Parry, of course, is going to be faster. And boom, down he goes. Um, I got clipped with that heavy. 
uh, that kind of woke me up. You know, I was fighting this and I'm like, yeah, we got this, we got this. And then he came out with that heavy and I'm like, oh, okay. All right, so we cleared that guy off and uh, uh, panning out, you'll see that we've only got a few minis up. So look at that Omega Red. My Omega Red looks healthy, doesn't he? And there's a Korg. Now, if you guys have watched uh, my previous war videos, especially the first time I encountered this node, I hated this node with a passion. I still do. Uh, and I remember a comment uh, saying, you know, you just need to learn how to fight on that node and not, you know, parry. And I agreed with them. Uh, so what you're watching me do here uh, is I changed up my style a little bit. Uh, one of the things that I have a hard time doing is, you know, changing my style on the fly. Uh, but what helps here is when I fight Korg with Havoc, I actually fight Korg like this. When I fight with Omega Red, I fought differently. So what I'm doing here to help myself is I'm fighting Korg like I would fight him if I were fighting with Havoc, which means I'm taking a lot of block, you know, hits. His his blocks don't, you know, do that much damage when he hits into your block, okay? Um, he is stubborn, so you don't want to evade, but you don't want to evade on Korg anyway. Now, you have to evade the special one, okay? But, you know, I'm looking for a little bit of revenge here. You know, I got wrecked by Korg on this node too often, all right? Uh, so you see here, I'm just blocking, for the most part, baiting out heavy attacks. Uh, and that's pretty much what you want to do, all right? He's got the indestructible up, but that's okay, you know, because I'm going to let him hit into my block. Boom. Now the indestructible is gone, and I counter. And that's pretty much what you have to do uh, to fight Korg on this mini with Omega Red. Now you see there, I went for an intercept. That's also what you can do. But intercepts are dangerous. Uh, I was feeling a little frisky uh, when I did that. All right, I'm looking up at the time and I'm like, okay, we got three minutes and he is more than halfway down. So I'm like, yeah, I can do this. Just don't choke. You know, I got smacked up a little bit earlier, um, but I kept my composure. And we're just slow playing this. You see how I backed off because he's indestructible. There we go. Bait out the heavy and then shield shattered and we go in again. OK, not trying to do much of anything. Now, normally when the shield is shattered, I'd want to parry and get a heavy off and get those spores on it. But because of the node, you can't do that. So I have to stick to my game plan. The way that I've been fighting is the way that I have to fight the entire fight. No parries whatsoever, intercepts, baiting out heavy attacks, okay? Thankfully, the indestructible does not uh, stack. So I'm looking at, and I'm boom, we got the one shot. I believe that's the first time we have gotten a one shot on that node. So I was feeling pretty good, you know? And we were like, all right, a little celebration. Now, Warlock, he's a little hurt. But he is an awesome counter for that domino. And I've taken domino on this node before. Uh, now, you'll see here uh, the nodes that we have to deal with. You know, brute force. That's important because you're going to see that in play. Spry, limber. Um, but that brute force, um, as well as the uh, spry, is going to come into play in this fight. So, um, if you watch my video where I took Warlock up to rank five, you'll see that I was very happy because Warlock is an awesome domino counter, okay? So, you know, I'm, I'm putting in some uh, boosts here and I put on that indestructible or invulnerability boost, um, but we don't get a chance to use the invulnerability boost and you'll see what I mean, okay? so. First of all, the mistake that I made um, early on is not remembering about the brute force. And normally I fight, you know, pretty aggressively. So brute force is not something I really need to concern myself with. Okay. See that degen? That degen is from the fact that I was not hitting her. 
uh, and the spry and those evades means that when I do try to hit her, she might evade and I still don't hit her. And then I have to try to reset. And if I reset for too long, you can see the degen just eating away at my health. And so I'm just like, okay, this is ridiculous. We got to get this girl down. All right. Um, she's draining my power, but that's fine. Um, I'm not trying to uh, evade, you know, out of her attacks, but I'm, I'm you know, I'm intercepting her. Uh, however, I take a lot of block hits. Now you see right there, that's how you would normally want to fight her. You know, you want to evade the um, medium attack. She cannot recover fast enough. So if you evade and immediately attack right after, you'll be good. I didn't do that enough and boom. Right at the end, guys. Look at the health, man. Look at the health. I was so upset. I was like, are you kidding me? And it was my fault. Um, I just played that too passively. Now, of course, if I had healed up my Warlock, I still would have won that fight. Um, but this is why I said the invulnerability boost doesn't help. You notice that it never triggered because it does not make you invulnerable against that type of damage. If she had hit me directly, yeah. Um, a special three, sure, but not that, not the uh, side damage. But in any case, that's gonna be it for our contribution in this war. And uh, we'll be back and you will find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. So for the season, we won the first six wars, then we lost the next three. So this win ends our losing streak. All right, so that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.